So, welcome back to more F Zero X Climbers with your host, Captain JJ, back at the helm. Last time round, we did Samurai Go and Fire Stingray. Now we're moving on to the Wild Goose and Pico. Another one of the original machines. Pico doesn't make any appearances after episode after his cameo in episode 39. Actually, that's a white lie. He does make an appearance as a cameo in episode 43, I'm tempted to say. And it would be kind of helpful if I could actually get past these machines without losing too much time! So, Wild Goose here is a middle of the road machine. It's quite heavy. And also, this machine is inaccurate in terms of grading because in this game it's a B grade by Climax and all the other games aside from X, it's an A grip on the body. I don't know why they decided to make it a body upgrade, but there you go. There you go. Wild Goose for finals just fine here. With his um, assassin um, like tendencies. He's an assassin for hire, just like he was in the game. The last time we saw him was shooting a bullet into the mobile platoon squad to try and the Black Shadow to try and destabilize them so they could take over the city. But unfortunately, it doesn't work because people can, because the mobile platoon squad can at least put two and two together. How did that? So what's that other guy? How did that happen? I am so shocking at this level at time. I just wanted to get rid of Michael Shane because he's just a troll. That was just for the sake of it. I didn't have to do it, but I decided, yeah, I'll do it. So anyway, multiply done. That was based on Platinum 1. Now we're going on to Big Billow, which is based on Platinum 2. And by extension, is based on Big Blue for the Snares. The first track, Multiply, was based on Mute City on the Snares, which is track number one, the very first track in the game. Now we're going on to Big Billow. This track is a figurative. This track is a bit of a pain. It's more of a pain in climax though than it is here, let's be, let's be honest. Because in Climax, the vast majority of the tracks are simply too small. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, this part of the run is actually quite clean. Just having a lot jumper settings. Just managed to get past that section though, which is I managed to get through it in the end. Jeez, that was a bit of a pain. Big pillow! Not nice. Not nice at all. But we cleared it. Now we're on to San Ocean 3, which is San Ocean Snares based on the Snares version, GB Legend, and Climax version. Say all three because it's basically the same track. It's an exact replica, which is not fun. 
But it is alright here. I do enjoy this track though. Oop, there goes Drax, see you later. And there goes my ability to be able to drive the wild goose. Let's have a quick look behind. This is the only game where you can actually look behind to see where your opponents are. Weird, I know. So this is all, this is looking all right now. Now that I actually managed to get something good about it, may not necessarily be the fastest or the cleanest route, but this this definitely feels good. That did not feel good. I'm definitely cursing myself a little bit here. The only real notable appearance for Pico is uh, the cameo in episode 43, where he's part of Dark Minion. And that's really about it. Nothing else is seen or heard from Pico at this point. Oh, uh, I forgot. Aside from the episode 40 appearance, where he came out on the podium. Holding a bunch of flowers. Pico was holding a bunch of flowers. That's actually pretty funny. Considering he's an assassin for hire. There you go. Sound ocean done. Pretty cleanly. All things considered. Right, let's see where we're going. Red Canyon 3, which is based on Red Canyon 2 from the Snares. who replaced Red Canyon 1 for GB Legend. Well, simply because GP Legend one is too small. I mean, you could finish that race in about 30 seconds if it was if it was in the game. I mean, literally, you could. But we're not on that version of the game, are we? I'm not entirely sure of my intentions on that one, but there you are. See what we can do here. So this track is basically based on the SNES version of Red Canyon 2, which is one of the longer tracks in Platinum. One of the few tracks that works in Climax. How long did it have to take the slide? All I wanted to do was go in a straight line. I mean, was it really that difficult to go in a straight line? Because I have no idea. Sliding about is not fun at times. Especially if it's, especially if it's sliding in the wrong direction, which is exactly what happened there. All the same, at least our track's over and done with. Now we're on to Silence 2, which is Silence Remix. I mean, it's just, I've said it a few times already, it's just a remix version of the Platinum Cup and since Platinum Cup is based on SNES Remix, SNES on the SNES Silence, and beyond that it's, well, it's not a particularly great track. Oh nice, got three machines off there. Oh, I did get Blood Cork off, okay. Somebody wanted violence just there. Uh, but I can't do anything against the boss. Oh, 
Yeah, I just want to keep the top ahead. So silence. This is based on Silence 3, Silence on the SNES version. It's just added like um, an extra section of corners on the top, and that's about it. Just called it a track after that. I mean, it's not a particularly great track, let's be honest. In Platinum Cup. Again, another side. I'm not. I like these sides. But I'm taking the simplistic route here, even though I could jump up and up and down, but I'm not going to. It's also pretty risky as well going to jump late on that section on the way down. That's definitely not the right way of going about it. And how many times have I slid in that section? And I like to side attack a little bit more frequently than what I am achieving here. Eventually getting this right done. That was definitely a little bit more painful than it needed to be, but there you are. Right, red 5 through 3, which is based on the SNES version of Firefield. Let's go. Right, so here we go for... For painful human beings. I forgot this is the first half. Oh, damn, okay, man, that's the first half. I've missed half, like. The Beast Hunter is gone. I don't want anything to do with that Beast Hunter getting in the way of my success. It's always like you see, I I should have got a firework this then. Then they could have done the incredibly lame joke from episode number 15. Then if you're wondering why I'm doing that, that is deliberate. So I can make that tight corner a little bit easier to handle. But some of these corners are so tight, it's very difficult to get yourself around it without using some good maneuverability, which I was just showing you there. Just Honestly, that machine. Honestly, the machine. Telling me I'm in, I'm in the red. Just shut up for a little bit. That was not great. That was not at all ideal though. Just put me at a bit of a disadvantage here through this hard thing. Gotta moves. be clean about it. Got to follow. Gotta be very clean about this. Gotta be so clean about this. This is gonna be alright. Looks like it's gonna be fine now. Yeah, it is gonna be fine. It's gonna be Hi. Shell to make, thank you for the follow. But anyway, that's all done. Dipping in. We don't see Pico for the rest of the anime after that. Until those coming out, and that's about it. Bit of a waste of a character, really. So, with that in mind, that is the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum cups all completed with the wild goose. Mediocre stats, 
and mediocre body. It's a little. It's neither here on the heavyweight or is it on the lightweight side. GG indeed. Thank you. It's neither here or there on the machine side of things. It's a nice machine if you want to try and get a load of people off, but other than that, you can do a fast tech with it, but it'd be a little bit more on the difficult side. But it's fine, it's fine. So, 28 down, 2 remaining. We're going to be down to the final two machines of the Platinum Cup. And then that'll be 100% on the Zerax Climax. Anyway, on to the top three. Third place, Gumu and Shio with the Twin Norita. Second place, Octoman and the Deep Claw. And last but not least, the winner, Pico and the Wild Goose. And that shot is taken from the introduction. You know, the pre, the, the big opening title sequence that they use in the anime is taken from there. Like one of the machines. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification bell, do what you need to do. We've got two more machines to go. Next up is Golden Fox. And until then, Captain JJ is signing out.